Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you want to see how I achieve these nails, just keep on watching. Just keep in mind, this is my first nail video. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and start the video with me filing. Um, I did not record me putting on my nails or me prepping my nails um, for the acrylics. Um, this was just a random uh, video. Okay, so I am using a 240 file. I got it off Amazon and I'm just blending my the nail in to my natural nail. That way we don't cause any lifting and it doesn't look like, I don't know how to explain it. Um, but just go ahead and blend it in and file it. And then you're going to go ahead and repeat that step with all your nails. As soon as I'm done with the ephah, I'm gonna go in, go in with my Mia Secret nail prep so that it is the dehydrator and the extra bond. Um, the extra bond is a little bit more tacky, um, and that works really good with the acrylic. That way, it doesn't lift. Um, I love it. I feel like it does make a difference using that extra bond. Um, I do want to try the Young Nails um, bond. Um, I haven't tried that one, so I want to try that one. Then I'm going to be taking my Mia Secret acrylic powder. Um, I don't recommend them. I got them off Amazon. I, I do like the clear one, just not the colored one. So just go ahead and try maybe another one. I love my nails, how they came out, but it wasn't as pigmented. For the monomer, I am using one from my local beauty supply store, which is City Nails. Um, I love it. I think it works just as good as the Mia Secret. I do have two brushes. I have my Alpha number 10 brush and then the other one, I don't know what it's called. It faded away, but that one is size t number 12. Um, I started off with the 12 because I like how it's bigger. Um, it's just that I switched back to the Alpha number 10 because I just received that one and I wanted to see which one I like better, but I ended up just sticking with the Alpha number 10. So I am going to go with the, I'm going to start off with the clear Mia Secret just so when I do want to change my nails, I can just go ahead and file down all the way to the clear 
acrylic um, I'm still not as good as making my beads um, I am a beginner so just uh, bear with me I am learning and hopefully with time I do get better Since I am doing an ombre, I'm going to use my Mia Secret Cover Pink. Um, that way it could be like a nude pink um, right under the purple and it could blend perfectly. Well, not perfectly, but nicely. And then going back to the clear acrylic, I can't stop stuttering, but going back to the clear acrylic, that way I don't um, follow away the purple or the pink. So for this nail, I'm going to do a mixture of the clear and the purple. I'm trying to do like the marble effect that everyone's doing. Um, I guess it's a new trend, but I love how it came out for being my first time. I feel like I did a really, really good job. Um, besides the purple not being as pigmented as I want it, uh, I think it still came out really pretty.
for this snail. I do want to apologize. I kept getting out of um, out of frame. Um, so I tried to save some of the film that I had. Um, you can barely see, but I'm adding the butterflies. Sorry about that. And then I also do uh, encapsulate it. I think that's what it's called. Um, just putting the clear clear acrylic over it, just so I don't fall away the butterflies. And I did that with the other finger as well, with all of them. Um, just so I don't uh, fall away all of the work that I just did. And then I'm going to be taking my hand file and just reshaping the nails again um, because they do lose their shape when I do add the acrylics. So I'm just going to be shaping them again back to the shape that I had them, um, which was a tapered shape. And then going back with my e-file, um, just make sure that you do that. That is a very important step. Um, it's very low RPM. It's just making sure that I don't get any acrylic on my skin so I could avoid lifting. Um, I didn't used to do this, so that would cause lifting on my nails. And I noticed ever since I started doing the e-file, doing it with the e-file, um, it's really made a difference. I'm changing my bit um i got this bit from amazon it's pan i cannot pronounce it but it is spelled p-a-n-a -A. i'm not too sure how you pronounce that pana um bit uh, it's extra fine and it is a safety bit so you don't cut your clients or yourself uh, i love it i love this bit it i feel like it smoothens out the nail so so well um it leaves my nail feeling nice and smooth
then going in with my base and top coat i got this off amazon most of the things i did get off amazon so those two base and top coat which are bomb um i had i've tried other top coats that i got off amazon and they left they used to leave my nails um bubbly like it just looked deformed And then also you could see on that nail that I'm painting right now, um, it is it's not chipped. It's just that I didn't put enough purple at the at the end of my nail. Well, not at the yeah at the end of my nail, um, next to my cubicles, um, the purple doesn't you can't really see it. It's more clear than purple, and it looks chipped. But me placing those rhinestones, um, it does cover it. Um, even though I wish I could have went back and fixed it, but it would just would have taken way longer. And then to finish it off, I'm going to be going in with that top coat. So this is the final result and then like I said I am not a professional I am a beginner and I am self-taught I learned this through YouTube videos a lot of youtubers um, so I did the best that I could and I hope you guys really do like my nails I love how they came out personally um, so thank you for watching and I hope you guys subscribe <laughs>